Hello, I'm John of Buchanan. I know. Now then, what we're going to do in this video is to explore a feature of Logic that is totally great called quick swipe comping. And this quick swipe comping, there we are, I should say it properly, bearing in mind it's the title of the video. What this allows us to do is to basically make a number of recordings in loop mode and then select our favorite sections from the tracks that we record. And what I'm going to do is to add some violin. I've mentioned on the channel before that I used to be a violinist, and this video is going to be a crime against violin playing, but nevertheless, I am going to record some violin. What I've done is to connect this microphone, this wonderful Neumann um, KM84, to my interface. And what I've now got is a channel which is set up and ready to record. So when I press the record button, because I have matched the input number to the channel, you can see that it's ready to receive some notes from my wonderful violin. And what I'm now gonna do is to press record, but you will notice that what I've done is to put a loop around the section we're going to be recording to, and that's really important because when I go into loop mode like this, what that effectively means is that Every time we come back to the beginning to make a new recording, it's going to be stacked into a number of what are called comps, or at least a number of takes, I should say. And from those takes, what we can then do is to choose what we call a comp, literally a, um, a, a version of that, selecting the best bits from each of those performances. The best bits? Are any of them going to be the best? Well, let's find out. Here we go. Okay, somewhere in there is going to be our take. Let's get rid of all this stuff. And that gives us this, effectively, a series of what we refer to as takes. And you can see that I recorded five of those, and they add up to what's called a comp. So if I close this down for a second, you can see what I mean. Effectively, it looks like audio track three, which we're now gonna label violin, for that is what it is, effectively looks like one track, but when I open up this little uh, button here, what we have a chance to do is to see all of the takes that were recorded. Now with the very first one, I didn't start until halfway through, so the beginning is completely silent, and the first recorded take is the one that's at the bottom. So I think that the first real take is take two. So let's just try that again. Take two always feels like a good place to start. Let's see what that sounds like. I might put a compressor on this violin just so we're really hearing it. Um, and I'm going to select um, the Studio FET. Effectively, I'm just going with this quickly just to get a bit of extra level into the signal. Sounds like this. So let's suppose that I liked the second half of this take, but not the first half. Well, I can swap it out for the take above, which looks like I've played a few slightly stronger notes. And all I've done there is to swipe over the section that I want to use. So for instance, if I decided that I want to use the first bit of take uh, three, then I wanted to switch back to take two here, and then to come back to take three for the end, all I would do would be to swipe over the sections that I want to use. And you can see that what's happening up here on the comp take is that where those overlap, we get a little crossfade added automatically by logic. And effectively, what that gives us is um, a nicely smooth transition controlled uh, sort of move from one take to the next.
and that works nicely. So what I did in the last two takes, or the two most recent takes, was to try out a couple of little variations in a couple of spots. And you can see that I've actually left a little hole in take three. Let's just see what I did here. I've got a horrible feeling this is nastily out of tune. Let's find out. Well, it could be worse, but it's not very interesting. It definitely gives us a little bit of an ending, though. Maybe it's this one here that was horribly out of tune. I'm determined to find it, which seems like quite an odd thing to say. But I think we've got a little bluesy moment here that I've added kind of right at the end. Sure enough, it is out of tune, but I wonder if we kept this first note here and kept just the last two there, whether or not we'd be in slightly better shape. Or indeed just maybe the last one, because that's really not very nice either. What's happening on that take there? So it's the same note twice. So I'm gonna go back to take four and use that instead. So effectively what I've got now, literally using just quick swipe comping, is the opportunity to select the best bits from all of my takes. Imagine these were vocals or anything else that you might have recorded, then we'd be in really good shape in terms of now being able to turn that into a main comp. And the way that I'm going to do that, if I'm absolutely sure that now this represents the thing that I want to be my main take, is that what I'm in a position to do here is to click, not on the arrow itself, but in this little section here where it says A. And what this allows me to do is to do a whole bunch of things. So for instance, what I could do would be to select the whole of one take. Any of the takes that I've recorded, I can now select the whole of. I'm also in a position to do all kinds of interesting things, like for example, unpack to independent tracks. That's a really nice feature. If what you've done is to say, okay, I want to record, let's say a bunch of hand claps or a bunch of exactly the same violin pattern, and I want five of them. So I want all of those takes five times to layer up loads of performances. A really great feature if you're a singer and you're recording multiple versions of harmonies or double tracks that you're putting together. Go into loop mode and then when you're done, unpack to independent tracks and you'll find that you've created an army of you. That's a nice thing to have done. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to flatten this. And what that does is it takes all of the takes that I've selected and it turns it into one flat track. It's almost like now what I've done is to comp all of those best bits and just turn it into one performance. And now what I've got is my violin part to go with my beats and my bass line. And there we are. What I've now got is my comped performance. So if you're working like this and what you want to do is to set up a mic and make multiple recordings of things and then choose the best bits, quick swipe comping is a really great place to do all of that work.